好，呃，大家好啊，我是袁玉炳，因为我是香港人啊，所以等一下我会用英文讲讲的，因为不好意思，我的中文有点烂的，因为昨天买洗发水的时候啊，就是那个售货员还以为我要买这个化妆水。所以不好意思啊，所以等一下我也用英文来讲了 ，OK 啊、呃，然后不好意思啊，穿的有点就是 formal， 因为我选的是啊，现在不穿的时候还还什么时候还有有机会穿呢、啊？我平常去学校都是穿这个短裤啊，有时候还会穿拖鞋。OK， so uh let us uh start it. So uh I'm Kerry Yun. Uh I'm very pleased and honored to present my research to you. And uh, this is my talk uh for today: artificial nerve system for health monitoring of engineered structures. Ladies and gentlemen,、uh, have you ever imagined how the future、uh, buildings and infrastructure will look like? I hope that through this talk, like together, we can literally shed some light on that. So,、uh, in this talk,、uh, first I will talk about the past problems、uh, encountered by our built environment, the health deteriorations of buildings and infrastructures, and then I will talk about the present research study I have been doing for the past one and a half years. Which is about the development of an artificial nerve system for structural health monitoring, and lastly, together we will look into the future to see how this research may help to shape the next generation of smart and intelligent structures. So here we go. The past. Over the past few decades,、uh, we have seen a lot of technological advancements in structural engineering, including the development of、uh, new materials, just like the shape memory alloys and engineered、uh, cementitious composites. These materials can enhance the、uh, elasticity and、uh, durability of our buildings, and also we have seen、uh, the development of new structural control devices, just like the two mass damper. This is a、uh, one、uh, we have in Taipei One Hundred One, which is a、uh, very famous、uh, tourist spot. Right? I hope our foreign visitors will have chance to visit this、uh, amazing building, and、uh, also have、uh, the new、uh, structural isolation system, which can help to reduce the effects of earthquakes and typhoons on our buildings. But, ladies and gentlemen, let me ask you one question: With these、uh, advanced technologies. Do you think that our built environment, our houses, our home, already protected against、uh, the natural disasters like earthquake and typhoons? Obviously, the answer is no. Because if the answer is yes, probably I'm not here like presenting my、uh, my talk, and、uh, also like we don't have to buy health insurance anymore. So what's the problem? Because the our、uh, structures just like a human body. They're aging and deteriorating over time, and a building when it gets old, it function will also become weaker. If unfortunately an old building is subject to a, a large external force like earthquakes, it can easily get severe damage or even total collapse. And moreover, the power of nature is still formidable and unforeseeable. Just like earthquakes, I can never predict. When the next earthquake will come and how strong it will be, also fire, storm, typhoons, all these、uh, large forces poses dangers to the safety of our buildings. So nowadays we still have to continue to pay for our house insurance. So what else we can do? Of course, there are a lot we can do. Ah,、uh, in fact, we have already seen that ah、uh, there are a lot of technologies we can use to strengthen. Our buildings to make it stronger. The problem is we don't know the actual health conditions of our structures and infrastructures, because like、uh, our concrete structures, it、uh, cannot talk. It will tell you, "Oh, I get hurt. I have some damage in my body." It won't communicate with you like your friend, right? Okay. So, is it possible to make a building、uh, to feel like a human body to have a loop system? And that's why I'm here, and I'm doing this research in the hope that to develop an artificial nerve system in order to、uh, closely monitor the actual health conditions of our buildings. So here is the idea: to develop such artificial nerve system, first thing we need is a brain, of course.、Uh, besides the nerve fiber, and I'm using a device, the so-called photon counting. 
uh, OTD Arlo. I will explain the working principle in a moment. And I collect uh, to it with the polymer uh, optical fibers, which is functioning as the nerve fiber in my system. And I attach this fiber throughout the whole, every part of our building. So here is the working principle. So uh, the our OTD Arlo can send out a train of night process into the optical fiber. And whenever there is a crack or damage or curve in our building, it will deform uh, the fiber like this. So when the night process are uh, going through the band in the optical fiber, uh, it will lose some of its energy. It's just like uh, when water uh, pass through the band in the water pipe, the, the flow or uh, velocity will uh, decrease, right? So it's a same uh, phenomenon. And based on this uh, working principle, I developed the mathematical models and the measurement algorithm. I'm not going to explain it here because it may take me another hour to explain everything in details. So in summary, I combined the theories of structural mechanics and fiber optics to develop my, to develop my measurement uh, principle based on the optical fiber sensing. So I hope that uh, Isaac Newton will be very pleased to see the collaborations of these two theories because he is a contribu contributor uh, to both of them. And also, uh, according to a famous uh, Japanese scholar, uh, I'm kidding, uh, he, he, he's not an, uh, a scholar, he's a, an artist, but I'm totally agreed on what he said. Like, everything has to be verified uh, experimentally before it becomes reality, right? So, on the top of uh, the uh, theoretical development, uh, we did the experiment. So here uh, are the test results, and the test results tells us the system works. Indeed, it works quite perfectly. It's not only be able to detect and locate the damage in our structures, it can even tell you how large is the cracks, how extensive is the damage. So, now we have a reliable like uh, uh, artificial nerve system to monitor the health conditions of our buildings. But is this the end of the story? Not yet. Because now we have such a system, meaning that we have a total sensing uh, for our buildings. We can integrate uh, the system with other devices to develop some uh, smarter and more intelligent uh, engineer structures. Here are some examples. Like first thing we do, we can integrate with the uh, active control devices. Just like uh, in the past, we always use the uh, so-called passive control device, just like the two mass damper in Type B 101. But uh, in fact, it's uh, just a self-defense system. It's an armor to the building. It just wait for the strike uh, of the earthquake and typhoon. We have uh, no say, we cannot control the response of our, the building. But now, since we have the total sensing of, uh, of our building, we can integrate with the active control devices. This is just like the nerve uh, system in the human body. We can use it to sense, and also we can use it to control the movement of our body, right? It's the same idea. So with this uh, integrated active control device and cell sensing system, we can actively strike back by controlling the motions of the buildings, okay, in order to counterbalance the external force induced by earthquakes or typhoons. The results, of course, safer and more stable buildings. And here is an, uh, another example. Is a, uh, we can integrate with some self-heating uh, materials so we can wrap the, uh, uh, the nerve fiber, the optical fiber in the system with some cell healing materials. So whenever there's, there's a crack or damage in the structures, like the chemical will be released and it will help to repair the structure by itself. It's, a, it's just like the same phenomenon when your skin get cut after a few days, the wound will repair by itself, right? So, and now, this kinds of dent holes are quite a big problem in Taiwan. Uh, maybe if we can really successful uh, 
to develop this uh, self integrated self heating and self sensing system. Maybe you can say goodbye to the traditional repair method, which is of course very time consuming and labor intensive. And here are just a few examples. Maybe every ladies and every gentleman here can help me to fantasize what are the more like, uh, potential applications. So get ready. Like we are heading for the next generation of smart and intelligent engineering structures. And uh, <laughs> last, I want to use German to say it. Because this is a little bit more clear. I don't know how to say it in Chinese. I really thank you for most Gagayo,